All right, here's my hydrogen generator setup. First, in a bucket of water, which is a glass bottle with a solution of sodium hydroxide, commonly known as lye, and aluminum. I have a nice box of aluminum here. And as you can see, it's starting to bubble. And the purpose of the water is to keep the bottle somewhat cool. Now, that does slow the reaction down, but that keeps the bottle from breaking. Out of this bottle travels through a hose into another bottle, which I have in a bucket of cool water with ice. It has an aquarium bubbler down in the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and the purpose of this is to help, well, since this generates a lot of heat, there's not only is hydrogen being produced, but there's some steam as well, or water vapor. This helps condense the water vapor out of the gas. So, mostly, we end up with, down here, is the same deal. Okay, this water is not as cold. I should put it in a cold bucket of water also, just to help keep the water cold. The bubbling, you see, is mostly hydrogen, a little bit of steam. And it travels up into the bag. Alright, if it don't keep this cool, as you can see, you need to have it's reacting quite good. If you do, call Comes out there, it's down in here, and this, this I wire is pretty much ice cool. And pops down in here, and as you can see, I'm getting quite a bit of reaction, quite a bit of hydrogen produced. If you have at least five thousand up into the bag. Visa and yeah, the bag's filling up yeah, pretty quickly. It's still going to take another couple hours. There we go. Alright. But there's balloon number one. And we got balloon number two. Still cooking and filling up in the basement. And there you go. Does look kind of neat, don't it?